is of end there. And I'm kind of, kind of getting it putty. Hey, it's Jason. I'm here with the 2007 Land Rover Range Rover L322. And uh, every L322 I have, I have the 03, this 07, and the other 07 that I got a ton of work to do on. This is uh, my daily driver, uh, for the most part, daily driver as in Land Rover is when I'm not driving the little Ford Maverick truck, which is what I do all the projects in at the building and take my son to school in. But typical old car problems, the, uh, the headliner is starting to separate up here. And I'm gonna attempt to use this Loctite spray adhesive, uh, professional performance contact adhesive. And I'm gonna show you if this actually works. I'm gonna kind of spray it inside and then attempt to push this bad boy up. Let me show you how I plan to do this and see if it helps or if it works. So the spray adhesive, I first want to kind of see, I'm going to just test it on this rock here, what the spray pattern looks like. It's like spray paint. You shake it. Alright, so it comes out like a diagonal. That's, I'm glad I tested that. So you spray it like that. Man, that stuff is like, it is like glue coming out of that bad boy. So you have to be kind of careful because if I had to did what I initially thought and sprayed it like that, um, stuff would have shot everywhere. I'm going to have to kind of go like that. So let me think about how I'm going to do it here. But I really just want to kind of show you the end result. I think I'm just going to spray it in and then pull this back and try to tuck it up. I think that's going to be my plan of attack. So I also got my grip here because I think what I want to do is once I spray it, I'm going to like, I believe I'm going to attempt to, to like clamp it in there and try to like hold it back at least a little bit. I'm not sure how quick this stuff was set. But you shake the bottle really good. That's what it kind of says. And you don't want to go like that because it's a wide spray. I'm doing an angle on. This headliner is really sagging everywhere, which is, I hate when headliners do this. You can fix it for like 400 bucks at a, a parsley shop. I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to pay that right now. So I'm going to kind of just gently pull this down. I'm going to spray adhesive in there, and I'm kind of, kind of getting it pretty, in there pretty liberally. Just watch the spray pattern, obviously, and I'm hoping this stuff doesn't leave some nasty smell when I'm done. What I'm gonna want to do is, I don't think it's gonna set too quick. I'm basically taking my hand in the back and working it back. It's actually, seems like it's working, which I'm kind of surprised by. Yeah, it's actually doing a pretty darn good job. I'm, I'm shocked. It's pretty adhesive. The adhesive is pretty sticky right away. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup right there, it looks like. Man, this stuff is, it is sticky, folks. Be careful with it. I'm not thrilled with how this is looking at the end. But I'm happy with the interior back here. Pop this down. Put that behind. <clears throat> Let's 
So you really got to kind of work it in there. This stuff is definitely professional adhesive. And I have never done this before. But what I can say is, I'm happy with how it's starting to look. You really gotta kinda take your fingers and pull it towards you and stretch it, and then put it under that weather stripping. I definitely notice an odor, so I might be cussing myself later when I'm noticing an adhesive odor for the rest of my life, but this was becoming really problematic in the back. All right, I don't wanna do anything else. I gotta get some of this orange nastiness is came off, but it seems to be holding. I'm get just a little bit more right here. A light spray. Tuck this up and up and in. So the thing I'm noticing is the orange stuff that is like on the um, headliner gets kind of messy. see all that foam right there. So it's not sagging there anymore, which is good. It seems like it's gonna hold pretty good once it dries completely. However, I have a little bit of orange crud that I don't think is gonna come off right there. As you can see, it's not sagging in the back anymore. That nasty orange stuff came out right there a little bit. I have a ton of adhesive here. It doesn't seem like it really wants to stick perfect but and you can see just this this like it's like foam or something it's just so messy it gets everywhere i'm going to vacuum that up so if this holds i mean it's holding really good right here i'm going to be okay with a little bit of that if it doesn't hold and I basically create a little bit of crud right there. And that just means ultimately, I'll just get this whole headline or done professionally at some point. Loctite spray adhesive, I think this was eight bucks a can, may have been 10 bucks. Wood metal acrylic carpet. This is holding really good here, it's tighter. So let's see how this uh, holds up and I'll report back. I figured I'd at least show a video of attempting to keep it from completely ripping because at one point this was just starting to drape all the way down and that orange stuff was going everywhere. Give me a subscribe on my YouTube channel, it means a lot to me. 2007 Land Rover Range Rover L322. Uh, I'll call it a temporary fix to try to prohibit this thing from just completely falling. We'll see how it goes.